look I'm looking through the AVF the camera is seeing some flicker but not my eyes and now here on the camera I have F9 ISO uh, shutter angle white balance and the resolution and on this side we have here the uh, compression compression ratio so for now we are going to raise this a little bit have to now oh, it's daylight uh, you can set up the um, the recording frame rate and the project time base I will give you an example how to set up the camera for a 4k recording high speed super slow motion it's amazing super slow motion it's the fastest you can get it's 100, uh, 150 frames per second in 4k with 16 bit color depth with 16 and a half stops of dynamic range it's huge it's massive let's start um, first we are going to select here on the screen the 4k widescreen resolution so this configuration will give you the 235 cinemascope aspect ratio um, it's 4k WS um, you can choose here the, um, the white balance or you can change it in post but uh, I think in here we probably will have uh, like 3500 3, um, Kelvin the temperature color 3500 after with um, as I'm in Europe um, our current our cycles is 50 cycles per second so if you want to use a uh, project base 24 frames per second you need to set up the shutter angle not 120 but 100, 172.8 and now we are going to choose um, our project time base. So you need to understand if you if you have a project time base of 48 frames per second and you record at the same frame rate 48 frames per second you have no slow motion because your frame rate is the same as your project time base in order for you to get um, a very nice slow motion we are going to put this at 24 frames per second and the, the frame rate we will um, put it here all the way to the top yeah it's amazing it's 100 and 50.72 frames per second at 4k 16 bit of color depth it's insane it's amazing uh, as you can look the image is look amazing um, and now we're going to put this little card 128 gigabyte uh, I know that inside of these red cards there are Toshiba um, SSD um, I'm going to install the card right here on this camera you have several shortcuts on the screen you have this information very speed Ray speed is telling you that you cannot record audio because your frame rate is higher than your project base time. If you press on the power, you can easily see the power rem uh, remain on the battery and you uh, also have the ability to shut down the camera. If you press the SSD, 
you are able to format the card to eject the media you have to eject media you cannot pull up the card like crazy um, close you and if you press on this little icon it will go to the playback menu if you press this icon you can select the clip you want and you can play it back or you can just scrub it in on this slider you can play it We have this little two seagulls, it was just a test that I made earlier. You touch the screen, you can press the, this little icon over here and you are ready to go. Most important thing in these cameras, these cameras allows you to read the light. For now, I have this left bar, this right bar, histogram and the traffic lights. You have to understand all of this very well or, or else you do shit. You have also here the core temperature and the calibration temperature, target temperature. So my target is set up in the system at 55 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about the left bar. The left bar is telling me the amount of pixels that have no information, they are pitch black. This is a histogram. It should span all over this area between the bars. You have the right bar is the most important. It's the amount of pixels that have no information. They are burned, they are white with no information. What we need to do, and also these traffic lights, they are telling me the blue channel is clipping, the red channel is clipping, the green channel and the red channel, all the channels are clipping. Now let's start to lower, to put higher aperture. And at f6.3, see it? You have no traffic lights on. You have a very good, um, a very good um, histogram. You have to trust on this. Remember, always trust on this and not on this. You have to read the signs. Um, if you want to see the log footage, the red footage, you press on the middle of the histogram and you can choose raw view. Now let's watch. Plenty of information there. I have all information that I need. I will do them focus remember the raw all of information that I need and it shows you the raw histogram now I press it and I remove the raw view now I have this image you have this histogram now look how dark is the image you can change that, but you have to trust this. If you want to see if the image is right exposes, exposed, you must switch to raw view. Look, plenty of information, all information on the right place. Now you press, you remove the raw. You can go to the, to the settings, to the look, and here you can create your own look, not let, remember, a look. You can gain the red channel, the green channel, 
You can put it and close it. Watch. Same image, just different settings. But remember, what the camera is recording is this. This is not affected by the changes I made on the look. Now, press it again, roll. This is just a, a, a look that will be recorded as metadata. This look will not be recorded on the footage, it's just metadata. You can use it in post-production if you want. If you don't have much time to do a color grading post-production, on set you go here, menu, settings, look, and you create your own look. You go to curves, you can set up, um, uh, you can change Luma, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel. You create your own look. And, and if you like the image you are going to see on the monitor, like this, not in RAW, when you go to post-production, that is the first image you will see. It's the this look that you have programmed. So if you don't want to change anything in post-production, you can record a look right in the camera.